Hi everyone, I wanted to wish everybody a happy new year. And in this video, I wanted to show everyone what I made. I made these pokey tools. You can get them, I get them at Hobby Lobby. And they just pull that off. And it's a little pokey tool. I like to use them for the backing of score tape. You know, you just get the tape and peel it off. It's it's easier for me to do it that way. So I like to use these for that. Um, you can also use them to open up like plastic packaging and things like that. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other things you can do to um, use these tools, but that's what I use them for. So I made a few. Um, I'm going to be in a swap this month. I have to send three three of these to somebody. So uh, now the hard part is figuring out which ones I want to send, but I will show you what I've made. I was going to do one live too with you, not live, but I was going to do one together with you on the video. And I think I used up all my scribe pins. So I don't think I can make one today, but I will make one in the future. I'll, I'll show you how I did it. So um, this one has a little leaf charm. This is double-sided. And it's got a rhinestone bead, purple rhinestone bead. And um, this is part of uh, a Michael's haul, these beads right here. I did a huge, I did um, a huge shopping at Michael's online and I got a lot of pretty beads and I'll show you, I'll do a haul video, but uh, for now I'll just show you what I did with these beads. So I made this one and this one has the smaller purple beads and these light pink rhinestone beads. That's this one with a little butterfly that's double-sided too. I like when the charms are double-sided. They're not always double-sided. So what I just did was I used the E6000 jewelry and bead glue and I just put a little bit and put them all on how I wanted it to look. And it comes with this little plastic thing and I just pushed it all the way up to hold them all tight until it dried. And it dried clear because I don't see any white. Some glues leave a white residue and you don't see any of that. So that's good. So, like I said, I'll I'll show you, I'll do, a, do one or two on a video with you. Once I either buy more or find them, I think I use them all, though. But so, I got this one. I love this color. It's such a light pink, really pretty. So, I got that. And then, um, I did this rainbow kind of one. So, it's got all crackle beads, and it's got, as you can see, yellow, green, blue, a light purple and sort of like a pinkish red. I love these crackle beads. They have an AB finish as well. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking up, but like right here you can see a little bit. They all have an AB finish and it's just a really pretty bead. I like these a lot and this one has a little star charm on it. Um, then I got these beads. This one has a little wing charm. And these are really pretty. This white and silver. With the um, silver rhinestone beads or shambhala beads. And then the clear beads right here. And the white and silver beads. I'm trying to get it to focus so you see. I just think they're beautiful. And I didn't want to put it too far down because I wanted to have enough room to grasp. Some people uh, make the beads and they do it all the way down to the end, which is fine. But for me, I need a little bit of, you know, I need to be able to grasp it. So for me, this is better. This length is better for me. I just, the hard part now is going to decide which ones I'm giving away. Um, this one has a little... Um, dragonfly and these beads are a little bit smaller they're black and silver uh, rhinestone beads with um, silver spacer beads in the middle so um, this one's really pretty it's uh, shiny 
catches the light. Oops, sorry, I thought that was really pretty. And then this one's different. Um, it's just, this is like, it. it's a deeper, it's like a, this is like a greenish blue color, almost like a sea foam color that you can't really pick up on the camera. It's showing more blue than it is. Um, but this came in a pack, uh, this came in a bead pack, um, all these beads you see here. Um, so I just put them all together. I just thought they were beautiful. This one has a little butterfly charm. And this is a crackle bead. And again, this has AB finish as well. So that's what this one looks like. And then I have two more. I have this one, uh, another dragonfly charm. Look at this one, how pretty this is. This is like a purple and blue rhinestone bead, that first one. Really pretty. And look at this crazy one over here. It's green and blue and purple with little rhinestones. Just really pretty. And silver spacer beads in, in between. Um, so I have this one. And I also made... This one that also has a butterfly charm, and this charm is, the, the wings are a little bit bent. So it's not a flat charm. Uh, and this has a pink, purple, and mm, I would say a reddish pink rhinestone bead with silver spacers. Now, what am I gonna do? Because I have this swap, and I have to send this lady three of these. I'll put them all here, right? Let's see if I can fit them in. This is the hard part. Which ones am I going to give her? Oh, boy. So that's a dilemma. I'm going to be mailing them out to her on Monday. So I have a couple days to think about it. I just have no idea what I'm going to do. I was thinking maybe the white and maybe this one. And maybe this one, just to give a, a drastic difference. But then I don't want to part with them either. <laughs> you know when you make something so cute, you just want to save it for yourself. And then you never end up using it anyway, right? So maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do this one, this one, and this one. But I don't know. I'm, st I'm still thinking about it. And they all come with these little protective, you know, things for the bottom. But then I'm missing them. On these two, I don't know where they went, so I'll make sure when I do the swap that I actually give her the ones with the little protective thing, um, plastic thing on the bottoms. So I wanted to show you these today. Thanks for watching. Again, Happy New Year, everybody. Um, in my next video, I know I have a Michaels haul coming up, and I'd like to make a couple, one or two of these with you. So hopefully I'll, I can find, I think I have another pack somewhere, and if I don't, I'll just buy some more, and I will show you. The tutorial on it. Um, I learned it from Vagabond Crafter and I linked her video um, a few videos ago. I mentioned her and I linked her channel so you should check her out. Um, she makes a lot of cute things. She especially made some bows uh, the other day for a Valentine's Day swap she wanted to do and they were absolutely gorgeous. So she's worth checking out. So thank you. Um, I, will, I will be making another video hopefully sooner rather than later. Have a good one. Thanks for watching and happy crafting. Bye.